here I go back on the streets. Um, welcome back, guys. I'm the Comic Foil, and uh, yeah, I was supposed to meet. Uh, there was an obvious trap being set up for me, I believe, um, by the Pleasure King, but I don't quite know where it is. Is it? Is it back here at the Telltale Boys Club? Because even then, there was like another thing telling me to come back here, but brighten up your beta, uh, brighten up day by chatting to young ladies about the telephone club. I could do a long course. No, I don't think this is it. I mean, I think I can get something else by doing the telephone club thing again, because there is an exclamation point there by my trouble find. Oh, there he is. Okay. So here's the thing. Um, this game takes place in 1988, and I forget when exactly it came out, but it was a few years ago, and also in Japan. Like, person dressing female, presenting female, if they were a trans person, I would of course accept that and use female pronouns. But everybody refers to the Pleasure King as a he. He has not attempted to correct anybody. I think that's just how he identifies, so I'm going to identify him as such, that's just the way the game is. We're not going to think about it too hard. Anyway. Hmm, is that? It was so awful. Oh, honey. I know how you feel. I realize it was hard on you. But you know, you really can't deny your customer like that. If you quit now, all your hard work will be for nothing. But it'll be okay. Nothing bad will happen. Leave it to me, honey. You trust me, don't you? Yes, of course. I've never been able to trust anyone else in this business, but I trust you like an older sister. <laughs> then you do what your big sis says, okay? Just hang in there a little bit more for me. Okay, thanks for looking out for me. I'll work even harder. I mean, it sounds like the Pleasure King wasn't looking out for you. Oh. Making you work. Heh, <laughs> what a basic biatch, complaining about a customer's little fetish like that. Jaguar Chan. Yes? T secret Jaguar, Sean. Um, I think it's about time we offer that little tuna to the usual fish market. To them? Don't you think it might be a bit too soon for that? Maybe we should see how things go. If that hussy's getting huffy over a little thing like that, we can't expect to make much off her in the future. Besides, she's worked enough to pay back her debt, and then some. She might realize it soon, so now's the time to do it. Understood. <laughs> oh, women are so stupid, and the men who spend big money on them are equally stupid. I suppose in the end, they're all just idiots eating each other out. Okay. Hmm, that's... Oh, my. If it isn't Kiryu-chan, you naughty boy, you should have let me know you were here. You look sexy as always, heart. So, did you come to have some fun? Our free coupon got your attention, did it? You're a big boy with a healthy appetite, after all, Kiryu-chan. Heart. No, that's not it. You're the one who called me out here. Hey. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I absolutely forgot about that. Silly me. Nah. Honey, won't you play a little game with me? A game? <laughs> you took on the Leisure King in a karaoke battle, right? I want some one-on-one -on -one time with you, too. What kind of battle would this be? Hmm, let's see. We're all adults here, so we can make it something fun. Ooh, I know. Let's make it a telephone club battle. We do have to do the telephone club again. Daddy. A telephone club battle? Yeah. Right. If you manage to score a date with a girl within three minutes, you win. How's that hot stuff? Of course, if you win, you get a slice of my property pie. If you lose, you give me a share of your holdings Good. instead. How can I trust you? You run these places. Isn't there going to be some kind of catch? Aww. I'm not going to do anything shady. That's the T for truth. A game's no fun if you cheat. Don't you trust me? We'll use the Telltale Boys Club. I'm not involved in the management there, so the battle will be fair and square. Would that be okay with you? Uh. Sure, that's fine. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay then. Let's do this. Heart. Wow, it's a good thing that I just, like, practiced this minigame a bunch of times too, both on and off camera. Okay, let's get on let's get it on, honey. 
I win if I score a date with a girl in three minutes, right? <laughs> That's right. No shade? No shade. But you don't seem like the type to go to telephone clubs. Do you really think you can pull this off? <laughs> <laughs> don't judge a book by its cover. I just went four times in the last hour. Um, love's on the line at the telephone club. If you get a date with a girl within three minutes, you win, and your share of the Pleasure King area increases by 10%. If you lose, your share decreases that by 10%. Smooth operators get a share of the area. I I was kind of starting, starting to suspect this once I learned that there was a mini-game. Okay, I know the rules already, so I'm ready to go. Just gotta hit the right... Oh! I hit X instead of Y. Sorry, I was having a Nintendo moment. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, guys. You're gonna have to watch the blurred out bikini babes again. No, I, I, I know, you don't have to explain it again. Okay. Got it that time. Mushy mush. So then. Okay, so wonder how old she is. I say you sound young. Yeah, three minutes is actually because if you remember when I was first doing it, I was doing like short sessions, which are only like two minutes. A little tense. I'm nervous. So do I actually go on the date with this girl then, or am I just going to ghost her after this? Yeah, yeah, okay. My body has been perfectly rendered so that I look like all the other attractive females in this game. Thanks, Sega. Um, okay. I want to say that you're popular. Nope. It's moving away on me. Uh, and it's, uh, squash and stretching. Got it. Uh, real estate. That one was moving nice and slow for me. I appreciate that. Oh, I am destroying this. Uh, take it easy or easy to talk to. Alright, I was leading that one a little too heavily. Um, I want easy to talk to. Yeah, you had to turn all two-dimensional on me there. Or one-dimensional, really, because you were just a line. Alright. And I ask about your face! Yeah, okay. Alright. Yes, you're a grown woman. I certainly hope so. Um, you have a lovely voice. Yeah, we're doing a telephone club speed run here. Also, I think it was Mecha Salt Man who, like, warned me that I was going to hate the minigame for the Pleasure King. So when I actually played this... Uh, wait, cheat- yeah, cheating's bad. Cheaters never prosper. Uh, cheaters never change their spots. Um, yeah, Mecha Salt Man said you're gonna hate it, so once I found this minigame, I figured, oh, it must be the same mini minigame for the Pleasure King. Uh, the, they're really hiding that one from me. Oh no, my speed run. Wow, you said the answer that any understandable person would say. Um, 
makes me feel relaxed. That one was a lot easier yes, on me. Okay, and now I can ask her out. Cool. That real estate is mine. I mean, they don't really have anything new to show you then after you see her face. I guess she's doing different poses. I guess. This minigame was extremely easy to program. Okay. Uh, yeah, go me. Sorry, I'm not, like, backflipping with excitement here. I'm kind of just... Glad to be done with that one. But there's, like, one more sub-story here. So I'm like, ah, oh, geez. Um, oh, honey, I should have known you get around. You were fabulous. Congratulations, heart. That's a pretty good one. I, I, I think people should start using that. Fabulous? Wait, how do you know how the conversation went? No way. Yeah. Yes way, heart. The caller on the other end was me. Wow, you really pitched your voice up. No. How can that be? That voice was completely different. Oh, don't underestimate the Pleasure King. It's easy peasy for me to change up my voice like that. <laughs> wow, but your seduction technique is, was so fierce. You really turned me on, Heart. I'm never going to make this mistake again. Oh, come on. Don't be so uptight, Heart. We had our little fun, and I'll give you a share of my area, as promised. Uh, telephone club battle with Pleasure King. You won the telephone club battle. Your share of the Pleasure King has increased by 10% of the Pleasure King's area, not the Pleasure King himself. I won, but somehow I feel like I lost. Oh dear, you've managed to close the gap with me again. I'd better get pr serious pretty soon. Oh, Jaguar Chan. Yes. Mm hmm? Hmm? What? Be a dear and take care of him, would you? Daddy. Hey. You haven't taken advantage of our absolutely free service offer yet, right? This is my present for you, honey. And don't forget, I'm not going to let you off so easy next time. <laughs> that is, of course, if you manage to survive after dealing with these boys. Well then, I hope you enjoy our service, hey. heart. Hey, wait. Whoa, excuse me, sir. You'll need to deal with us. No substitutions allowed during this promotion. Okay, let's get started. Enjoy our absolutely free service. Okay, it's like a beat-up service, sure. Um, okay, I already have Beast, which is good because there is a bike right here. Yeah, so I'm just destroying Jaguar right off the bat. Right off the bike. Yeah, I don't even want to do the heat action at this point, because... There we go. Okay. <laughs> Easy. They put that bike right where it needed to be. That was perfect bike placement. Ugh, talk about a rough customer. Sorry about that. Don't worry. I'll never come back to a place like this. The Pleasure King. He's more tough and cold-blooded than I thought. I'll have to face him in battle soon. It's not going to be easy. You know, I might come back to a place like this, though, just to see what that last sub-story is. Uh, meanwhile, though, I think, yeah, my payouts are ready, so I'll go take care of that. Nanny. Oh, hey, so the uh, card collector, apparently I can show him... Uh, I have a set of three telephone cards of uh, this Luca person. <laughs> Whoa, it's so cool to see uh, the full three-card set. I feel... I really appreciate it. Here, take this. And I got five million for that. If you can complete more card sets, you know where to find me. Okay, I am hearing one around here somewhere, too. Okay, Riku. That's not, by chance, one of the ones you want, is it? Uh, yes, okay. Uh, full three card set. Cool, and that's another cool five million. Good to know. Okay, back to work. Nanny. 
we can meet in front of the theater. I've now played this stupid game five times. Okay, that's uh, fine. My name's Kiryu, by the way. My name is Asakura. I'm getting excited thinking of meeting you. What will, we, what will you be wearing? I'll pull on something. I'll put on something blue. My hair is short. Is that enough? Blue clothes, short hair. I'll find you. No problem. Okay, so this is. I've done this three times now, and two of the times it was short hair, blue clothing. Is there going to be three of them this time? And I don't... Just, I can't believe this is asking me to do it a fourth time. But yeah, it's another Sakura Shock. It's another... It's another sub-story. Um, Asakura, or Asakura? Asakura might be here already. So could I call her, like, Sakura as a nickname? Is that why it's called Sakura Shock? Go ahead, tell me there's three girls in blue. All facing away from me. Just tell me. Looks like I beat her here. I'll just have to wait. Oh, okay. Wow, mixing it up. So is he holding his lighter and his matchbox both in the same hand? Was the lighter already lit? How did he pull that off? Um... She's really late. It's been a while now. Maybe she's held up in traffic. Sorry, did you wait long? Is that her? Uh, ahem. Ahem. She's not wearing blue. Uh, sorry I couldn't get here sooner. No, no. I just got here, too. It's not her. Aw, oh, Kiryu, you got stood up. Man, I got straight up hornswoggled. Hornswoggled, that's that's one you don't hear very often. I went to a telephone club and I thought I scored a hot hookup, but it turns out she was just a Sakura. What, some new slang? Nah, she's just some club shill. She pretends to be a caller to get guys into the club. I thought I had a date, but of course she stood me up. I wasted two hours. Aw, oh, man. You fell right into their trap. Nani? A Sakura? I got played for a fool by a club ringer. A dream scattered like cherry blossoms in the wind. Ugh, and it's not even spring. So are there, like, four or five different, like, results from playing the dating game? Is that, like, what you're telling me? I'm definitely... Uh, you want me to do it again? Uh, this is, like, getting me through my sub-story list. I have 37 of them done now. The last four, basically, were the same thing. But I'm sick of playing that game already. Alright, I just passed 90% with the Pleasure King. Hmm... What's the matter? You look upset. You look upset again. Again, Mr. President? Huh? You have post postcards from sex shops again. In fact, you have two of them this time. Two? I bet they're from the Pleasure King. Dear valued customer, join us this holiday for a Christmas miracle. Our mistress will deck the halls by punishing you in a Santa costume. And of course... You can be the naughty red-nosed reindeer. Please drop by and check us out for this special event. We look forward to seeing everyone on the naughty list. Is that a challenge from the Pleasure King? What on earth could he mean by Santa costume? Is that a secret message? Sounds like it's just a Santa costume. Maybe a sexy Santa costume. Hang on. This is addressed to you, Yamanoi-san. What? Oh. Is that from where I went the other day? No, that can't be. What? Aww. Yamanoi, son. Uh, um, well, I... Oh, so what? Don't judge me. And what about the other postcard? The other one is actually from the Pleasure King. The text is the same as last time. I guess he wants me to go to the same place as before. Mm. Considering the Pleasure King's area is mostly ours now, he must be quite, he must be quite desperate. I'm betting he'll try to shut us down by force. You'll need to make sure you're ready for anything. Uh, you're right. On the flip side, this is also an opportunity for us to crush them. 
I'll put an end to this. We're counting on you, Kiryu-san. Please be careful, Mr. Uh. President. Yeah. You have a noise, son. May I have a word with you later? Sure. I need to head to Senrio Avenue to face the Pleasure King. Alright, when you've received an open challenge... Yeah, I know about open challenges. Uh... The challenge has been made. I'll head on over there. Nanny. And there they are. Uh, yeah, like kneeling before the Pleasure King. You decide to come, Kiryu-chan. I love a man with courage. It's so sexy, heart. I'm not here for your sweet talk. Hurry up and tell me what you want. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> Don't be so hasty, honey. I'll tell you what, Kiryu-chan. I'll give you one chance. One chance to pull out of this area right now. If you do, I'll spare your life and everyone gets a happy ending. And if I don't? Oh, you know what's going to happen. I'll get rid of anyone who gets in my way. If you don't pull out, I will kill you and take it all back. Heh, <laughs> fine. Well, uh, let me say something too. Leave this area now. If you do, I'll let you live. <laughs> <laughs> Fabulous. Then let's settle this, shall we? This Jaguar Chan's really good at appearing behind people. I'm sorry, honey. You're all by your lonesome, and I've got my entourage here. But you understand it's because I'm a v vulnerable little girl, don't you? I'm sure you don't mind. Heh. <laughs> yeah, right. The muscles you're packing there say you're anything but. But that's fine. I'll take you all out. Yeah. Oh, you're so manly. If you weren't my enemy, I'd be all over you, big boy. Well, I'll give you the Pleasure King's ultimate service. All for absolutely free, honey. Aww. So get ready to take it all in. Alright. Versus the Pleasure King. And three goons. Yeah, my... My big plan should be to try and take out the mooks first. Oh, boy. That overhead slam... Yeah, this... This is why I want to take... Oh, no! This is why I want to take out the little ones first, because they can overwhelm me. Wow, lots of grappling going on. Okay, so she really likes grappling me so that the others can hit me. There. There. Just hit the Pleasure King with a bicycle. And just gonna put this wheel right here. So I think I ran out of... I ran out of uh, ammo on my big fish laser, so... Oh man, these throws! I'm not even mad, that's impressive. Yeah, I'm just gonna stick stick to my chip damage here, but I am going to use an item. Um, yeah, I'll stick with that for now. Okay, with the back to the wall. Yes, I've been waiting to use that one. Oh, uh, that one's pretty cool. Unfortunately, that used up all of my heat. And back. Oh. I'm okay doing this slow. I am moving way faster than her. Oh, no. Ah, I missed out on what probably would have been a really cool heat action because... Kiryu was kind of skating all around in boxer style, so let's go to Brawler. Alright, and here's the heat action to finish it off. Uh, not quite. Let's give her the boot. Give him the boot, I'm sorry. Not sorry for punching you, but sorry if I've missed... Gendering you, you just 
you gender yourself differently than a lot of people would in your situation here in 2022. But that's okay. The most important thing is what you think. <laughs> I knew the moment I laid my eyes on you. If you weren't my enemy, we could have been lovers. Hmm. If you weren't enemies, we could have been friends, maybe. Friends? Oh, you're such a tease. Like you promised. You need to leave this area. Sure. I did promise, after all. Besides, now that people are starting to pick up on some tricks I was turning on the down low, it's time for me to pull out the sachet... To pull out and sachet away. I'll start again somewhere else, honey. Some place where no one will get in the way of how I run my runway. Next time, make sure you think about people over profits. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. After all, I don't want someone like you swooping in and snatching away my business again. Honey, are you serious about taking back Kamurocho? Uh. Yeah, you bet. Okay, listen. Taking me down won't help you get rid of the five billionaires. A new billionaire will rise and take my place. There are plenty of rich boys ready to get nasty for that chance. So what should I do? Mm. You need to find the beef beneath the bulge. The one who's really controlling the five billionaires. Isn't that one of the five? Oh, I'll never tell. I'd be killed if I said too much. I hope you understand if I bite my tongue, honey. Well, no need for me to hang around here much longer. I should really get running. Here, a present for you. What's this? Yeah. My phone number, honey. Heart. Call me anytime, Kiryu-chan. Another heart. Ugh. Uh, I don't want it. Oh, you're just being bashful, Heart. We're no longer enemies after all, one more Heart. And since we're no longer enemies, I'd be happy to give you some pointers on managing adult entertainment centers yet another Heart. Hmm. That might actually be helpful. Fabulous! Of course, it absolutely won't be for free. Heh. <laughs> you're still all business, aren't you? Oh, she's been a lot more than business. Oh, and my boy Jaguar-chan here? He still wants to work in Kamurocho, so would you mind hiring him? He's such a good boy, and he's always eager to please. That's fine. We need all the help we can get. Thank you very much. Alright. So those two join me. Uh, predictably, she's very good in the uh, Pleasure District. See you later, Kiryu-chan. Maybe you can clean up this town a little bit, and save her from all the greed advice. I'll be waiting over... I'll be watching over you from afar, honey. Do your best. And there she goes. Running in heels. Good job. So then, who's actually controlling the five billionaires? Looks like this rabbit hole only gets deeper. Uh, blocks have been unlocked for the beast style. New items have been opened on the ability screen. Additional upgrades are now available. Alright, we did it, guys. We defeated the Pleasure King. And uh-oh! It seems the Pleasure King has been taken down as well. I forget how I did the Media oh, King. Indeed. That Kiryu character. I didn't think he'd get this far. What should we do? Shall I take him out for you? No, leave him alone. We don't know if you're going to be able to beat him either. What? Ouch! My feelings! For once, we've got someone who can give us an interesting challenge. Let's sit back and enjoy this while it lasts. It's also a good opportunity to see what the rest of you are capable of. You understand what I mean, don't you? Certainly. We are merely the hands and feet at your command. Kazuma Kiryu. Alright, so am I finally going to open up the media district now too, now that it did that scene? I'm assuming that's why it never showed that scene before, because it didn't know what other character would be there. Well, in any case, I think we are quite done for today. I'm the Comic Foil. Uh, thank you for watching, and uh, good news! I'm almost ready to release Character Study 7, so that should be out pretty darn soon. In the meantime, I'm going to intervene in with these guys. Uh, make sure you're subscribed so that you see that Character Study coming out. Okay, later!